So we decided to take a look at the question, is it safe to live in Menifee? Uh, the implication of that question is, what's the crime rate in Menifee? Which is what I looked up. And there are some websites that show up just by searching that. Uh, one of the ones that showed up was this neighborhoodscout.com. Unfortunately, they want a subscription or a payment. I'm not sure which, but everything is locked. So that's not very helpful at all. So that's not one you want to use. However, one helpful website was the crimegrade.org website, and they feature a uh, interactive map. So here you've got this uh, general information right here, and your chance of being a victim in, of crime in Menifee may be as high as 1 in 14 in the northwest neighborhoods, as low as 1 in 67 in the south part of the city. So you look at this map, and then the interactive part gives you a real chance to look at the neighborhoods where the crime is low and where the crime is high, and there's a definite difference. Well, there's a reason for that. So let's look at that um, area right here. You can see that the F grade extends up the side um, and in the uh, northern part of the city of McCall and Chambers Avenue up to Rouse Road. So what did I do? I looked at Chambers Avenue on Google Maps. Let's take a look at that. This looks a lot like Hemet, which has a high crime rate. And typical features are front yards with no grass. They all have gravel. And uh, sometimes it's glued and painted together, like in Hemet, the very common thing. Um, California seed palms for decoration so it's a little bit like uh, Arizona but these homes are also quite old and quite small here is um, this particular house right here and once you get inside you can, it's 1400 square feet and you can see that it's a very basic appointment so there's some upgrades the flooring has been upgraded I don't know what that is exactly though um, but you can see the kitchen is uh, kind of standard um, low-end builders, cabinets, builders, countertops. I mean, it's nice, it's well-kept, but this is kind of the caliber of home. And this may be among some of the better, and uh, that's available. Okay. Um, now, if we look at... Um, Another website, bestplaces.net, this has a lot of good information on it. And it delineates very well between violent crime, property crime, and compares to U.S. averages. And so we've got violent crime 8.9 versus 22.7 for the United States average. Property crime is a little closer to the average, but below. And you see that the data has been fairly recent. That's because Menifee only became a city back in 2008 or so. So here's the crime history. One thing that is not addressed in all of these websites is the data is not really caught up yet. And uh, that's going to be the new police department. So the police department in Menifee took over only a year ago, just over a year ago, June of 2020. Uh, they rolled out the new police department and broke ties with the Riverside County Sheriff that uh, uh, by default polices all the cities in uh, Riverside County. They don't have their own, but now cities are starting to get fed up with crime rates. So I predict that um, based on my observation of the uh, police in Menifee, I predict that the uh, rates are going to drop substantially there on the spot, they're vigilant, uh, they don't let little things slide, they pay attention to what's happening, they help people, and they're not afraid to stop you on the street and ask you what you're doing. If you look out of place, I mean, that's the way it is in Menifee. Um, and I've seen that several times where uh, they're really watching what's happening on the street, so it makes a difference. And I think you'll see the crime rates tend to go down over the next few years as the data starts to come in with the new police department. So you saw the homes there. And, and then in the, the um, closer to Lazy Creek Drive, Newport, and that area, the southern part of the city, you've got neighborhoods more like this one. And uh, here's a view of local neighborhood near me. 
and it's really a different kind of space. And so just from a, a couple of miles down the road to this area, you have a completely different, almost like two cities in one with the um, uh, socioeconomic factors in uh, this area versus the northern part. So hope this helps shed a little light on uh, whether Menifee is safe to live in. It's definitely very safe. Um, you do want to watch your property like anywhere. But uh, compared to other cities in the area, you, you do have better rates in uh, Marietta and Canyon Lake. But Menifee, um, parts of it are just as good and other parts of it definitely are closer to like Hemet. So you want to look where you're going to choose a home in Menifee if that's where you're deciding to buy. And some parts of it are very desirable and great to live in. This is Dave Key signing off.